don't fuck what they find. Yeah. Give a damn who they get. I bet the shit won't stick. My last rapper was a bitch. They gave him 28 years because the nigga won't close his lips. What's up, Integrity TV? Tap all the way in for this one, man. I'm smash that thing for your boy one time, man, and it's always an honor and a blessing to have you here with me, man. Now, check it out, man. A lot of folks are speculating that this is the guy that single-handedly is responsible for King Von's success, given if he had never froze up on the stage and retracted that Von was an accomplice, the world probably would have never heard of the likes of a King Von because he would have been sitting for that 30 ball. This is Wooski Big Brother Mike, King Von co-defendant on the murder of Malcolm Stuckey. Initially, he was sentenced to 28 years. He got that reduced to 11, and he already served 8. So he on deck. He coming soon. His parole is in 23. It was stated that Stuckey was taken out because he was a witness. Now, I'm finding out King Von and Malcolm Stuckey attended a school together, a college. So obviously, they knew each other's face. Now, on the streets, it's no face, no case. So you know how that go, man. Rest in peace, Malcolm Stuckey, man. I know you got family, your loved ones out there, love and care, and sorry this wound is being opened up again. I know it hurts, but, you know, hey, that's the judicial system for you. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Is, is Mike go pop back out here with Wooski, man, jump in traffic on some savage activities, man, or is he go recognize the second chance he got, man, and live life to the fullest and get lowered in the push-up? Let me know what y'all think. Integrity TV, I'm out.